everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And today I wanna to show you guys how to make a cute little journal using my botanical uh, watercolor pages that I've done here. And um, in my last video I showed you guys how to watercolor the botanical paper that I did. And this is on the watercolor paper, which is five by, these are five by sevens 98 pound and 160 GSM is what they are. So they're a little bit wrinkly. I just did them a little bit ago. I actually did these exa these two examples here um, in a short, like a, one of the short videos. So if you guys come check that out, it's pretty fun. And then I showed you guys in another video uh, how to uh, watercolor on the botanicals and um, how to make a cute little tag out of it. So come check that out, would be fun. I'll put that down below, and if I forget, remind me, and I will post the link down below in the description box for you. So uh, to show you guys also, if you wanna see the other video of me doing the botanical uh, stamping, the eco stamps, uh, I will post that up in, right here in the corner, up in the top right here. So it should pop up, and you guys can come check out how I uh, did the botanical eco print. And that starts the whole process. And then you guys can come see how to watercolor it and then do the fun little stamping. And now I wanna show you guys how to do a little journal with it. All right, so I got all this done and it's so much fun. And what I have is just a little paper bag here, this little Macy's paper bag. And it's so cute. And I thought this would be fun to do. I wanna incorporate the handle in it. So I just fold it in half. And this is just a quick, fun little thing that you could do with a paper bag and with uh, your fun little paintings here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just, I wanna pretty much just hide the wording and I wanna keep the border of the bag around it. I really like the look of that. So I'm just gonna take it like this and I just wanna glue it on there. But before I do that, Let's take some of our Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. So I hope you guys are having a crafty day today and getting out all your fun craft supplies and your paints and seeing what you got and do a little fun little uh, paper bag journal here. And you don't have to have the watercolors to do this, you know, the watercolor botanicals. You could do it on uh, with anything for a cover and use a little paper bag. All right, so I got that all inked around. I went ahead and did both of them. And I thought this one was so cool, like a sunset colors. I just thought that was so pretty. Yeah, it was so much fun. And then the purple and the blues. Okay, so I want this to be the cover. Oh, and I wanna do some fun little stitches around the edges because uh, I, once I put this on here, I can't sew because I wanna keep this a little pocket up front. So I can't really sew it down. All right, so I went ahead and stitched around both of them. I just did a zigzag stitch. Okay. And let's go ahead. And when I glue this down, I want the words here. I just think they're great. Please reuse and recycle this bag. Why wouldn't I keep that there? I think that'd be so much fun. All right, so I went ahead and glued the front here and the back. And I think those turned out really cool. Just so much fun. Okay, now the inside here, I wanna cover some of these words up. So I went ahead and just grabbed some pretty papers here and I'm just gonna line it up. And just do a quick cover up here. And I wanna keep the please reuse and recycle this bag. I think that's... I love it. Okay. Um, you know, this is when you want to think about if you want to sew. Um, I think I do. I think I'm going to add a little bit of sewing on the inside too. And I want to cover up this piece with the wording here. And I just want to cover it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and just do some, uh, probably some, just some zigzag around it. And I'll be right back. All right, 
So there we go. Uh, so my neighbors are mowing, just to let you know. That's probably, if you hear it, that's what's happening. <laughs> and uh, of course, as I'm doing a video here, but that's okay. So what we got here is, I did a little sewing. Some interest sewing around. So this is one way just to pretty up your papers, is just to do some fun sewing. Okay. And what I wanna do is bring it to about here and glue it, and then this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, this is turning out so cute. So I got that glued down and this glued down. And I had it a little tall on this edge, so it was all white showing through. So I used the art glitter glue to glue all this in. And uh, I just took it and rolled the edge. I put a little glue along and then just rolled it over like that. Just cause it was sticking up a little bit. I had it a little too tall. So I just wanted to make sure. Tell you guys that little trick right there. Because it still looks good. Just rolled over the edge like that. Okay. And then there we go. So this is coming along. Now, what I'm thinking is. What we're gonna do is have, and I'm gonna show you, we have a pocket here. Well, that one's kind of just like a little tuck. So some more, so these are like little tucks that you can tuck stuff in. Like that. They're not like super deep, but you can go ahead and tuck some things in there. You can probably just, and the, usually the bigger pot, the bigger bags, it's like a deeper pocket where you can put stuff in. So I'm just gonna take it. And, so what? This is gonna be a pocket too, like a little, uh, little um, tuck, because I want to sew around, and I want this to be a pocket in the front, just like that. And we could slip some pretty papers in here. We will do that. But I want this to be a little, you know, pocket that you can put stuff in. And if this turns out as good as I'm hoping, I'm gonna put this in my Etsy shop and I think it'll be fun. I mean, we got some original botanical prints and some hand paints and uh, watercolors and stuff. So I think that'd be a fun little thing to come check out. So yeah, I'll put the link down below and probably I'm gonna put this in my Etsy shop. I'm kind of thinking about it as I'm doing it here. Okay. Let's see, what do we wanna do next? I think what we're gonna do is sew around. And as I sew, I don't wanna sew this closed, right? I want that to open. So what I'm gonna do is grab this right here with my sewing machine, make sure it's open. And I'm gonna sew along here to that point. And then I'll do the same thing on this side to that point. Like that and like that. And then it'll open up still. And then I'm gonna take it and sew around and I'm gonna sew this shut, this top or upper flap part. So I'm gonna sew around here, uh, skip this part cause it's already sewn and then do some stitching here and then sew all along here. And then this will make a nice little tuck spot for stuff. Okay, and then do the same. Just make sure, don't close this pocket shut. So just open it and sew here and sew here. Okay? All right, so I'll be right back. So I'm gonna show you guys this so far. What I did is I put this like this in my sewing machine. Made sure I didn't have any other thing attached, just like that. And started up here did a little back stitch, sewed all the way down back stitch, and then it'll have a cute little decorative front of the pocket here, the little tuck spot. 
okay? And then for this part, you just gotta make sure when you go to the machine to open this and get this out of the way enough that you could sew here. And I just sewed to the fold, just to the fold line right here. Okay, and then I did back stitches on each. Now, what I wanted to show you is if you rip it, which I did, don't stress it. I just took a little piece of washi tape and just added it in there. No big deal. Just add a little piece of washi and uh, get the rip and then just go ahead and just sew right over it. So yeah, that's what I mean by getting the pockets is like that. So we can still open them. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start here and go all the way and then close these parts right here. And then this will be a nice little tuck. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use my Fabrifix and add this cute little cluster. And um, I'll try to remember to put the link down below on how I make these cute little, I make, um, they're like little flower clusters. And I showed you guys how I do these. They're just all a little different. So all my, I'll try to remember to put that link below so you guys can come check them out. And I thought this one would be cute here. So these are just fun to sit in front of the TV, watch your favorite program, you know, and um, just do some hand stitching. It's always relaxing. And then you can definitely find uses for them. That just adds a little interest to the front. Okay. And what I'm gonna do now is take my papers I have here. So I just got some tea dyed, like index card. Um, this one's avocado dyed, just some graph paper. So I think those would be fun. I'm just gonna take them all. And then I laid it on a rack when it dried so it did a cool design on the back. Okay, so that's the tea dye. This is avocado. Um, these are my fun marble, I'm calling them, I call them marble coffee dyed papers. And I can definitely pop that link down below for you guys and you can come check them out. So I'm just gonna keep continuing just folding all these up and getting them into the journal. So I went ahead and got these cut to fit in here to size. And what you could do is say you want to move this one over a little. Okay. And then you can make a fun little tuck pocket over here. Just line it up. papers. Easy way to do it and you can find the center fold here. And then there you go. And then what I could do is just go and I could sew all the way around and do some interest sewing and then this can be a cute little tuck spot right here. So you could do that with your papers. Um, you can fold it up like this and just make this a little shorter and uh, you know, go ahead and take it and you can do some sewing just around or glue. You guys, you know you can glue anything that I'm talking about sewing. You can do the same and just take your glue and you can glue here and here. And then you got two little pockets on each page. So you could do something like that. And yeah, just go around and make some fun little, uh, I like to go through and sew pages and do some interest sewing on it and stuff, but you guys can go and ink. You can do some inking around them or uh, just gluing down, you know, little tucks and folds and different things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and decorate a bunch. And uh, I even like to take and sew around the index cards to do a little fun interest. And I like these in the middle. They're kind of fun to play with and great for journaling. So I will be back and I'll just do some fun decorating. Okay, so I went ahead and did some fun interest sewing on some pages. 
I did that one around. And the reason I don't like to sew on the edge of the pocket like that is because it takes up room to be able to put stuff in. So like I didn't do it on that one or the bottom of this one because then you take it, it takes up too much room uh, when you want to put stuff in it. I'd rather have more room at the bottom or at the bottom of a pocket to put stuff in. Okay, so I got all these how I want them. And then what you're gonna do is just go ahead and, now I'm keeping all my strings long, just, I mean, not super long, but just, I like to keep the threads on here. So whoever purchases it or whatever, they can either cut them off and then use these in clusters if they want, or keep them on here. So I like to do that just for them to have the choice of what they want to do with them because they're fun to have if you want to cut them off and use them, you know, to do little clusters like that, just the little thread clusters and stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do is clamp it all down on here. Just find where you want it. Make sure it's in where you want it. I usually just do like, you know, millimeter around on each side to keep it in like that. Okay, and you can take whatever kind of clamp thingies you have. Just to keep it in place. Now, what you could do is either you could do a binding method where you poke the holes and then thread it through with some string and stuff. Um, or what I'm going to do on this one is just take it to my sewing machine because I don't have a huge amount of paper here. Now, if you had a lot, lot, like super thick, I wouldn't suggest the sewing machine. But since I only have, uh, you know, a couple pieces, how many do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six plus the bag would be seven and eight. So I'm just gonna take it and do just a straight stitch right down the middle and just attach it to the journal. And I'll be right back. And there we go. I think I did a pretty good job there. Okay, so you just wanna make sure that you're following the, so make sure your paper is really good and creased so you know you're following the middle line. It's like that. I think it turned out pretty straight there. Not too bad. And now we got ourselves some signatures in here. All right. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to glue, um, let's get some uh, pretty papers down. But before we do that, I have something fun I want to do with you guys. I have these cute little magnets and I want to put one right here and one right here and then it all should clip all together and magnetize. So I got these on Amazon and I'll make sure to post them down below in the description. And like I say, if I forget, just remind me, please. So what I'm going to do is just take two of them and they're just little guys. And then the thing is, is you want to make sure that you don't have it the wrong way. You want to make sure that it magnetizes together. So these two are definitely magnetized like that. So I'm going to set this side up over here. And then I'm going to take this side that's already up. And I'm going to glue the back of it. The E6000 for this. Because it gets a good... It does really good with like metal and plastic. Just kind of popped it right there. And I'm gonna let that one dry. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Careful, because these are powerful. I hope I have them the right way. Okay, they seem to be the right way. So this would be my my best bet right here is to clamp them 
put them together like that. And then maybe take a heavier duier clamp. And uh, I just got these like at Harbor Freight. My husband and I just went and he, he uh, helped me pick out some heavy duty or clamps. Like you can get different varieties, different sizes. And Harbor Freight is a pretty good uh, place to go for like inexpensive. Just They're kind of cheapos, but they're really powerful. So just anything from like a hardware store or something like that really comes in handy for this kind of stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Uh, let that clamp and keep it like that for a little bit and yeah and then we'll go from there all right so i let it dry and got it all magnetized here and it works beautifully so it shuts nicely and then you just pull these and you got your pocket here so it just kind of, it, it does all of it together. So when you open it, the pockets open like that. And then you got the little journal spot. So I think that turned out really cool. Still a little bit. I had to let it sit at least 24 hours before I shouldn't mess with it too much. Okay, so what I did is I sewed the pretty papers and put them on the inside here. So we've got a little inside pocket to add stuff to. And I think it looks great. And now I got some fun little things that we can add to our journals. And everything I'm gonna show you, I have made on video with you guys. So just let me know if I do not have a link below. Uh, you can always go and look through my channel too. And uh, it is all there. I don't remember the names of what I named it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I just have, they're all made. So if you're interested, you can just go look through, but I think this one's super fun and it's got a little belly band here and a pocket here and down below. So what I'm going to do is just start uh, finding some spots and gluing them in and getting it with some ephemera in it before I put it into my Etsy shop and we will do a little flip through. So I'll go ahead and do that in a time lapse and then I'll show you guys a flip through. Before we do the flip through here, I got it all loaded up with some fun ephemera. I'm going to take some lace that I've avocado dyed. Yes, it was avocados. Um, I do so many different dyeing techniques that <laughs> I have to think about it. Okay, let's see. So I want to cover up the magnets plus make it look pretty. So I'm just going to go that measure it right on the glue line and then I'll show you guys is I just did it and I tried to make it so you can still see the stitches here and uh, the main reason I thought of it is to hide the little magnet but it does a cute little little ruffle on the outside I mean, come on, that is super cute. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys think and uh, how you like it. Um, let's see, it might be too bulky for my magnet. Darn it. Oh yeah, it's because I put a bunch of stuff in it too. 
Hmm. Let me think about this for just a second. Okay, so I think I figured it out. Um, what I did, and hopefully this is dry now. Um, I went ahead and took a seam binding and I did an eyelet back here. And then I took the seam binding and put it around and then there's a shorter one and a longer one. So the longer one will wrap around like that. And then you get to make a pretty little bow. So that'll be the big closure. And then it gives it room to grow too. So there's that, just like that. Okay. So this took me a second because I really was thinking these magnets would hold it, but I didn't think about when I put everything in it. So that gives it room to grow. And then now the pocket over here is the magnet. And it should be dry. I don't want it to come undone. So this little pocket, you could put stuff in, just not super full. And there you go. You got a little magnet here. So that's what the magnet will be, is on the front pocket. And then the seam binding will just wrap around and tie in a bow. So it'll give you room to grow. So there we go. So that's, that's what I figured out. And I think it's going to work. So I'll just show you guys really quick here, quick flip through. Okay, so I got the first little pocket here and all this will come with it when I sell it in my Etsy shop. And um, this is just some fun little tags that I've made. Like that. And then this little tag. Oh, and then there's also room for something to go into the back here. I forgot about that little pocket. So let's see. Find something fun to put back there. Is that too wide? So if it's too wide, I like to do the fun little fold like this. But this is just a fun little piece of paper to play with. Okay. So there we go. Forgot about that back pocket. Okay, so there, some fun little pieces, pieces of paper to play with. All right, and got the marble dyed paper for a pocket. And then this is just some painter. I did some collage on it, on some paint paper. So this could be fun to do journaling on the back or you can even do some watercoloring on the back. I'll do something like that and a little cluster here. Some tea dyed lined paper. And I threw down a fun little flower cluster with a button on top. And then we got a little flip here with some fun little papers tucked away in the back here and sticker and some, uh, a sticker, some more stickers and some fun little things to play with. Another little cluster here. And then this is the middle. So you got your uh, little index card, and I got my uh, hidden paper clip tea bag with the fun paper behind it. Just some drilling spot. So that's fun to clip things under. And then that's the back of it. So then this just hangs out the top. This little tea bag. We'll cluster on it. And some more tea dyed paper. And then just the side little pocket here. Journaling card. Just clipped it in there. Okay. Some more uh, watercolor paper. Another little pocket with some fun things in it. And this is uh, a little copy of something I've made that I painted and uh, did some fun drawing on it. I doodled on there. And then I just copied them all off. Like I did a, a bunch of little copies. So that's fun to play with. And I like the word create. So we'll have that stick out. Okay. 
And you get a little um, bolt pin with some beads on it. And there we go. And then you got your big pocket here that you can slide something into. And just some cute little collage. I did a collage with a manila folder on the back. So it's just like one of the master boards and I just cut some pieces out and just slid them in these fun little pockets right here. So I just did one here and there. And there we go. And uh, I could find, let me find something to put into this little pocket. I forgot about that. Okay, so I found this cute little owl face and some journaling space on the back. So I think that'll slide in there nicely. And there we go. That's as far as it goes in, so it's perfect. And it closes just like that. So you just take the longer one, wrap it around like that, and then you just tie it together. So then you definitely have some room to grow. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational and got some good ideas out of all this. And this is, remember, this is hand painted. Uh, this is hand painted that I did and some uh, eco prints. So this is the originals on each side. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm having so much fun doing this. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And please, if you could subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.